Have you ever wondered why people with the kindest hearts often find themselves in a cycle of pain and disappointment? It's a question that many of us have asked, a paradox that seems almost cruel in its irony. This is the Golden Heart Paradox. Picture, if you will, an individual who shines with inherent kindness, whose actions are driven by empathy, compassion, and a genuine desire to bring happiness to others. This individual, often referred to as the chosen one, is someone with a heart of pure gold. Yet, despite their noble intentions and their unwavering commitment to doing good, they frequently find themselves in a whirlwind of hurt and disillusionment. But why does this happen? Why does the Chosen One, the bearer of the Golden Heart, so often experience struggle and heartache? The answer lies in the very nature of their kindness. Their big heart, their willingness to always put others before themselves, their inability to turn a blind eye to anyone in need. These factors often make them an easy target for those who seek to exploit their kindness. This is not to say that having a Golden Heart is a curse, far from it. The world needs more people, like the Chosen One. People who are brave enough to care, to love, and to give, even when it hurts, but it's crucial to understand this dynamic, this paradox, because it sheds light on the struggles that these kind-hearted individuals often face. The Chosen One's journey is not an easy one. It's filled with trials and tribulations, with pain and disappointment, but it's also filled with growth, with learning, and with immense personal development. And in this journey, there's a crucial mistake that we must avoid. A mistake that can make the difference between a life of endless hurt and a life of balance, where kindness can coexist with self-love and self-respect. So what is this mistake? What is this pitfall that the chosen one must steer clear of on their journey? That, dear listener, is what we'll delve into in our next segment. But for now, remember this. In the journey of the chosen one with a heart of gold, there's a crucial mistake that we must avoid. What is the mistake that those with golden hearts often make? It's simple, yet destructive. You see, those of us with hearts of gold, brimming with compassion and empathy, often fall into the trap of overgiving. We're the ones who are always there, always ready to lend a helping hand to offer a shoulder to cry on. Our hearts are so full of love for others that we sometimes forget to save some for ourselves. This overgiving, this relentless selflessness can lead us down a path fraught with danger. It's a path that winds towards burnout, towards resentment. When we constantly put others before ourselves, we deplete our own resources, our energy, our time, our emotional reserves. And when we're running on empty, when we've given so much of ourselves that there's nothing left to give, that's when resentment begins to creep in. That's when the golden heart starts to tarnish. But why does this happen? Why do we, the ones with hearts of gold, make this mistake? It's because we believe in the power of love, in the power of kindness. We believe that by giving, we're making the world a better place. And we're not wrong, but what we often overlook is the importance of balance. Balance, you see, is the key. It's about understanding that while it's noble to help others, it's equally important to help ourselves. It's about realizing that self-care isn't selfish, it's necessary. It's about recognizing that we can't pour from an empty cup, that we can't give what we don't have. So, if you have a heart of gold, remember this. Don't neglect your own needs in the pursuit of helping others. Don't overgive to the point of burnout. Don't let your golden heart tarnish with resentment. Remember, the chosen one's journey isn't about self-sacrifice, but about understanding the balance. Because only when we take care of ourselves can we truly take care of others. Only when we love ourselves can we truly love others. And only when we understand the balance can we truly have a heart of gold. So how can the chosen one with a heart of gold avoid this common mistake? The answer lies in the importance of setting boundaries. Imagine boundaries as invisible lines that mark the limits of our personal space, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally as well. They are the guidelines that help us determine what we're comfortable with and what we're not. When we establish these boundaries, we're effectively creating a buffer zone, protecting ourselves from potential harm. This could be anything from emotional burnout to exploitation. By setting clear boundaries, we're saying that we value ourselves enough to keep our well-being a priority. Consider a heart of gold. It's precious, right? It's something to be treasured. But without a protective boundary, it's exposed to all sorts of threats. It can be easily exploited, taken for granted, and before we know it, the golden heart is tarnished, losing its shine and value. Now let's talk about relationships. In any kind of relationship, be it friendship, romantic, or professional, boundaries are crucial. They help us maintain our integrity and self-respect. 
they let others know that while we might have a heart of gold, we won't allow ourselves to be mistreated or disrespected. Let's be honest, setting boundaries isn't always easy. It requires a certain level of self-awareness and courage. But remember, it's not about alienating others or being unkind, it's about respecting and valuing ourselves and expecting the same from others. Think about it. When we know our boundaries, when we know what we're comfortable with, we're better equipped to navigate our relationships. We can avoid misunderstandings, resentment, and hurt feelings. We can maintain healthier, more respectful, and more fulfilling relationships. So, next time you find yourself in a situation where your heart of gold is being tested, remember the importance of boundaries. They're not just about protecting ourselves, they're also about teaching others how to treat us. Boundaries aren't walls, they're guidelines that help us navigate our relationships with care and respect. Another vital skill for the chosen one is learning to say no. Saying no is more than just a two-letter word, it's a tool of empowerment. It's a declaration that we are taking control of our lives, our time, our energy, and our resources. It's a boundary we set to protect what is most precious to us. Often we avoid saying no because we fear rejection, disappointment, or conflict. We worry about damaging relationships or being perceived as unkind or unhelpful. But remember, saying yes when we want to say no can lead to resentment, stress, and burnout. It's like constantly pouring from a cup that's never refilled. Eventually, it'll run dry. So how do we harness the power of saying no? It starts with understanding that it's not just okay but necessary to prioritize our own needs and well-being. It's about recognizing that every yes we give to others is potentially a no to ourselves. Think of it as an act of self-love and self-respect. By saying no, we honor our own needs. We give ourselves the permission to rest, to recharge, to focus on what truly matters to us. It's a small word with a big impact, a gentle reminder that we are in charge of our own lives. Of course, saying no doesn't mean shutting everyone out. It's about balance. It's about knowing when to lend a hand and when to step back. It's about understanding that we cannot pour from an empty cup. We cannot help others if we're not taking care of ourselves first. Ultimately, the art of saying no is about self-awareness. It's about knowing our limits, respecting our boundaries, and valuing our time. It's about acknowledging that we are not just the chosen one for others, but for ourselves as well. We are the captains of our own lives, the stewards of our own energy and resources. Saying no doesn't make you selfish, it makes you self-aware. In the journey of the chosen one, balance is the key. Like a tightrope walker, you must tread carefully, maintaining a steady equilibrium between your golden heart's urge to help others and the essential need to care for yourself. It's a dance of compassion and self-preservation, a harmonious symphony that requires practice, patience, and a deep understanding of self. Reflect for a moment on what we've explored today. The golden heart paradox, where your innate kindness can sometimes lead you astray, the heart of gold mistake, the tendency to neglect yourself in the pursuit of aiding others. We've delved into the importance of setting boundaries, the art of saying no, and now, we're at the crux of it all. The path to balance. Think of balance as an act of juggling. Imagine you're holding two spheres, one representing your desire to help others, the other symbolizing your need for self-care. If you focus too much on one sphere, the other will inevitably fall. It's about keeping both spheres in motion, at an equal pace. This is the essence of balance, the heart of the chosen one's journey. Balance doesn't mean you lose your golden heart. On the contrary, it enhances it. When you care for yourself, you create a reservoir of strength and resilience, enabling you to assist others more effectively. It's a cycle of kindness, flowing from you to others, then back to you. Reflect on your own behavior. Are you neglecting one sphere for the other? Are you setting the right boundaries? Are you saying no when it's necessary? These are vital questions that can guide you towards a more balanced existence. Strive for this balance in your life. It's not an overnight transformation, but a gradual process, a journey of self-discovery. Embrace it, learn from it, grow with it. Remember, as a chosen one with a heart of gold, your journey is not about self-sacrifice, but about self-awareness and balance. Don't make the mistake of forgetting yourself in your quest to help others.